And now we want to bring in Keith Chow. He is the founder and editor in chief of the Nerds of Color. It's a website which focuses on pop culture and diversity in Hollywood. Keith, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for having me. I'm you know, uh, when we were talking about doing this segment, I couldn't help but think about the Oscar so white controversy, mm -hmm. obviously, where the focus was on African Americans who were not cast in Hollywood. Now the attention has turned to Asians. Why is that? Well, I think uh, the thing about Oscar So White is that it was about the lack of African-American. It wasn't even about that. It was about the lack of people of color in general. But with the Oscars, there were several black films that weren't nominated. And part of the thing with Asian-Americans, we didn't even have roles that could have been nominated. And I think one of the reasons is now you're seeing films like Doctor Strange and Ghost in the Shell with characters who are Asian being cast with white people. And this is an ongoing problem. Tell us about the majority of roles that are offered to Asian Americans are somewhat stereotyped. Explain this to us. Right. So most of the time when you see Asians on screen, uh, they're usually the, you know, gangster, the Chinatown gangster or the, like, the nerd who doesn't get a girlfriend or something like that. And that seems to be the only time they pigeonhole Asian American actors. And what we're saying is that uh, things like starring John Cho and Whitewashed Out is saying actors uh, should also be lead roles and heroes and not only the, the, side, the sidekicks. Who are some of the more well-known Asian actors who, who really represent the industry well? Well, I think one of the things about the starring John Cho hashtag is that it's identified someone who's been in these multi-billion dollar franchises. But I think it's kind of a danger to think he's the only one because there are several, like Lucy Liu, for example, Randall Park, who's the head of Fresh Off the Boat. There are, there are a slew of Asian American actors who, are, who could be movie stars that they're just given the chance. All right. Well, tell us, uh, this, this Asian actor, uh, Maggie Q, she's come out to address the problem, saying that besides the fact that there are enough roles for Asians, she says it's also new that they're taking roles that are originally for white Asians. They're written for, for whites, but then the Asians are end up taking them. Well, I think it's actually the other way around. I think maybe, like, one of the things that I think kind of would even the playing field is that roles that are traditionally white could be cast with people of color. One of the things that my website did is this hashtag called AA Iron Fist this new Marvel superhero show coming out where it's about a kung fu superhero who goes off to China and comes back a superhero. And in the comic books, he's white, of course, you know, because they can't imagine a Chinese person who knows kung fu, I guess. And we advocated an Asian American actor to play that role and got a lot of pushback. And I think that helps even the playing field than just, you know, because the other thing happens where these characters who are Asian, like the ancient one in Doctor Strange mm -hmm. gets cast with Tilda Swinton or Alison Ng, who's a Hawaiian Chinese gets cast with Emma Stone, and we can't even get the roles who are written for us. Right. You know, how can we get any roles in Hollywood? Is it true that Hollywood is slow to catch up to, say, what TV is doing? Yeah, film is definitely slower than TV. Like, I, I mentioned Fresh Off the Boat. There's also Dr. Ken, uh, Aziz Ansari's show, Master of None on Netflix, uh, Quantico, which, which features Priyanka Chopra. Like, we have many more Asian Americans and people of color in general. Like, Shonda Rhimes owns Thursday Nights in, on TV. I don't know why Hollywood, uh, the film side of Hollywood is, is slower. It starts with the screenplay, though, doesn't it, Keith? Yeah, well, I think it's the screenplay, but it's also the casting and the director. And, and I think also, you know, if I'm Emma Stone and I'm reading a part for Emma, a, a character named Alison Ng, I should probably step back and think, why am I being cast in this role? And I think that, you know, everyone needs to take accountability. All righty. Well, Keith Chow, we certainly appreciate it. And the website is called The Nerds of Color. Yes. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.